it's inventory full time we're gonna be talking about some gamer culture stuff should video games have a rating system that's weird also we're gonna be talking about uh, who won at the dice awards don't go away inventory full starts right now welcome to popcorn talk featuring movie discussion news and interviews popcorn talk we talk movies Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, the fastest growing, I'm just going to say it, it's the fastest growing uh, uh, gaming podcast live on Twitch. Hi, it's Inventory Full. Welcome. Uh, thanks again to the fine folks at Popcorn Talk for giving us a place to spew our gaming garbage. Uh, and thanks to all of you for coming out and eating it. Uh, I'm, one of, I'm one of your hosts. Yeah, that's Mark Bidonica. You can find me on Twitter at Mark Bidonica. I'm joined by the drummer extraordinaire. The mask, bro. What? Was it Jim Carrey, The Mask? Is that what you're going for? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's kind of a little bit. That's Nate Miller. What's up, nerds? Nate Miller here. You can find me on all social media. Dog like Nate. At Stacy Shuttleworth. Hey, guys. I'm Stacy Shuttleworth. You can find me all over the web at Stacy Shuttles. And that's Patrick D. What is up? Nate went from, like, Sith Lord to Jim Carrey from The Mask to What's Up, Nerds. So I think you tweet at us. I'm a renaissance man. I know. Literally, there's nothing you can't do. You find me at P of the D's on Twitter. Please tweet at me. I'm at Truly Slide. And your console of choice... What's up, guys? It's Hey Pachuco esque. PC Master. Not entirely. What? Oh, how dare. Huh? Oh, why not? <laughs> um, uh, welcome to the show. We've got some some cool stuff, some fun stuff to talk about. Um, Nate, we're going to save uh, what you were playing last because it kind of leads into uh, cool your little nice. bit of an adventure. Right. Um, Best but, last. Patrick, have you been playing anything fresh this week? Because no. you're a fresh. You're, you're, no, you're not a freshman, a freshman. but you're a, you're a freshness uh, man. A connoisseur of. Kind of the, the the latest. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm chipping away slowly at Shadow of the Colossus, but I'm savoring As that because I want to do like a Colossus a night. I'm not going to, I'm just pacing myself. That's a good idea. I feel, I, that way I can enjoy this game for quite a bit longer. It's How's a, it look? Stunning. It mm. is unbelievable. Awesome. Like it is a, it's hard to believe it's that same game. Like they, it is so lovingly remade. It's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's beautiful. So I'm just, I'm really, really just trying to just get through one, just put it down, get sad after I kill one Colossus and <laughs> feel that deep in my soul and then go pick something else up, which feel has the been, darkness grow. um, I'm playing near Automata. I've been texting Stacy religiously. I'm like, so does it get better? Fuck this game. Wait, oh, I like this game. I like it. Wait, fuck this game. No, it's still, it's good. Right. And like, I, she's been dealing with like all of this. I'm sure that it's a problem. Exactly how I felt like And this I'm so game. glad to have a voice, uh, to talk about it because uh, so I'm really enjoying, like, and we're going to talk about it at the Dice Awards, but it yeah. won RPG, RPG of the Year. Mm -hmm. So, and it really, I was at a point where I'm like, okay, I see what this game is doing. I've got enough. I'm, I'm going to shelve this and go on other things. Then it won at the Dice Awards, which is industry giving industry stuff. And I'm like, oh no, I should play this. These people know video games. So I picked yeah. it back up. Finally got to a point where there's some fast travel. Very excited at that point. Yeah, it's a good time. Game changer. Always a good yeah, time. I was like, wow. Fast travel is a big um, yeah. selling point for oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I'll just say, like, the combat's dope. Like, you guys know Platinum Games. Like, yeah. the, the combat I actually have really enjoyed. I like the chip system, which allows you, it's just it's ostensibly the way you customize your build, right? So you, you can buy space for your chips, and you can put in different, like, customizable chips. So you can the, cut the... The customization options in combat are uh, mm -hmm. really dense. So if you, if you want to really nerd out about it, and they give you like shortcuts for shit. Like if it's um, there's a vendor you can see that says, "Hey, optimize my chipset for defense or attack strength." Okay. Or whatever. Because that so, was my next question. Because yeah. totally. sometimes when you get too much customization options, it's, it's just overwhelming. Totally. And it's and like, it's, well, what do I pick? I don't know what's good. And, and you can just yeah. say like, "Make me good at attacking right. shit," mm -hmm. and like they can do that for you. And so you can engage with it as much or as little as you want, That's which cool, I right? really appreciate. That's good. So then um, from there you can dip into it and modify. The preset one. Yeah, ones. you can take the preset, which is which is how I ended up kind of dipping into it, because that's that's usually a no hands yeah. off, very <laughs> right. overwhelming oh. section. Yeah. But uh, they make it easy. They give you a set, and then you can be like, okay, but I really want this, you know, ability. So I'm gonna find a way to make it work. Cool. And it's, it's similar to like old school like inventory stuff. We have like a space, and you move it around like Tetris, right? Like you to fit stuff. The chips take up oh, a certain okay. amount of bandwidth, mm -hmm. and it's a vertical thing. And you can buy more bandwidth. And so each ability, like depending how strong it is, takes up more bandwidth. So mm -hmm. Like you, it's all of this constant it's, give so and it's, take. It's just like the like Kingdom Hearts with the AP. So oh, yeah, it, yeah, it's similar. It's yeah. Similar it where you have a you, you basically have an allotment of power points that you can use, yep. and then mm -hmm. you get to use them how you like. Yeah, and sure. you get there things that give you more, and the stronger ones cost more. Yeah, right. interesting. So he's I haven't heard on, anything on, about on that combat. Get, um, I think uh, the combat's way better so than it gets any run. Like it's yeah. it's really deep and the, the, a great frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the combo system's great. It's a big difference. It's just. <laughs> I, th 
I still have a hard time. I literally texted Stacey this, I think at midnight. I'm like, I'd like an HD remake of this game that came out last year. Like, <laughs> fucking what? Is, I can't get over how bad it looks at certain spots. And the other thing is that, like, it is so, I'm sure this is a treatise on, like, what does it mean to be human and, like, are robots people and all that? But it is so heavy handed at the jump. It's like, I won't wreck anything, but I just got to a point where I saw a robot that was dressed up as a little girl and had a bow in her hair. And like, And it's like, yeah, I'm like, hey, yeah, robots have feelings. I get it. You're calling her a little girl. It's fine. Okay. So anyway, I, I am confident it won the Dice Awards, which we're going to talk about. That there's some very deep themes here. And I need well, to know. So, so are you are you, are you pro robots or people? Or are you, where I'm, do you sit I'm, on this, look, Patrick? I, I, for one, welcome our inevitable robot overlords. And I view them as people or whatever they choose to identify as. <laughs> um, well, but I will, I will say you're talking about this greater narrative. It didn't win story of the I year. I know. RPG. It didn't win narrative no, of the I know, year. I know. It won RPG. Of the year. So in terms of all of but, that system stuff that you're talking about, that sounds pretty like a reinvention of, sure. a, of a theme, and I'm excited to see where that goes. I bet it beat out Persona, which I feel like is also, oh, okay. you know, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But isn't Persona more about, less about the systems and more about like the story and, and choices interactions and like things of that? But that's playing a I, role. Is there yeah. combat in Yeah, there's Persona? combat. There's combat. Yes. Yeah, there's combat. Um, yeah. Not, not like no. near. No, 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 yeah, this no, is real it's time. it's turn-based combat yeah. in Persona. And I arguably I think, it's all very stylized, but no, right. I do think that the mechanics. I think it would be are. very hard to justify a turn-based RPG winning RPG of the year yep. in 2017. Not to any detriment to the games. It's just that you just lose a lot of momentum. And like I can imagine with Persona, for a style reason, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah, or yeah, just yeah, like yeah. like the South Park game, still still a great RPG, but it is turn-based. So mm. I, I, that's interesting. Well, yeah. Let me and there's one more thing I want to comment on because I really I so many other questions it's funny I want to hear what Stacey's up to uh, I think this thing does also really cool network feature stuff as well so if I you turn on network features you run into Android literal other gamer tags of people where they've died and they can leave a message to you that, that their death message which is goes from very beautiful to dark and like a just weird <laughs> shit yeah. and you can uh, choose to repair them and have a like drone version of them show up and fight along with you with their build as That's they cool. died so they can fight along with you or you can like harvest and get like uh you know permanent upgrades for your build. Some if you, chips for yourself, right? And some, yeah. And so you customize <laughs> your own like where you where you die. Like I what mean, that just sounds like another people. really cool it's innovative dope. system. Totally, mm -hmm. I think there's so many yeah. like uh, pieces that are made. Like the uh, the fact that you can leave a message to somebody who finds your body is kind of rad. I don't know. I kind of like I yeah. texted, but yeah, I was. It just very sounds like it. asking for trouble. But. Yes. Yeah. Well, so anyway, you I'm, can leave a message with preset okay. sections. Right. Thank yes. You. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. So it's not like you choose a subject of so. Right. It's like an ad yeah. thing. Right? No. I can't leave penis, penis, penis. <laughs> Fuck you. I can't leave that. Uh, this stupid fucking game. I yeah. keep fucking that <laughs> right here. It's way too hard. Yeah. Visit so, Penn Island. I super. I just hope. I hope it ends up being. Because, but I think like we have some downtime. I'm excited about some of the the titles coming later in March. But like for me, this was still kind of playing catch up on the games that I missed. So. Oh sure, mm -hmm. and we still got a little bit of time. Stacy, yeah. I know uh, uh, you're pretty hyped about this. Uh, the Sea of Thieves. That, that oh. Uh, they, they had another beta this weekend. I didn't realize. I didn't know. That's the thing. They they to be honest, they've had a lot of betas. Almost oh, a couple times well, a month. Even but now betas. they're these were just stress tests. Yeah, 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 stress yeah, tests. Yeah, but yeah. now they're they're a lot more wide open to the public sure. instead of just right, people right. who pre-ordered or pre-purchased or whatever. But you had more time with the game. Um, How much time? Not really. No? Okay. So <laughs> last weekend's stress test was great. I got to play for, you know, two and a half solid hours, no interruptions. Mm -hmm. Sure. This one, my game crashed every, like, 20 minutes, maybe, so they which really was stressed. very frustrating. Um, very was stressful. It, it was Ooh. very stressful. So, you know, Gold star, the, <laughs> the people I was playing with weren't having this problem, I so trying to join back up. Uh, luckily, they do have a join back feature, mm -hmm. which is really nice if you can join and then play the game smoothly, but then it was kept it a, happening. So. Was it a local, was it a crash locally, or was it like a net, network crash? I don't know. Do you just disconnect know. it from my, the servers, I mean, or was your box resetting? My game just completely froze. Just locked up? And, yeah, well, because I was playing right next to right next to my husband. We were playing together on the same team, and his game was fine, and mine just kept and crashing. And he's playing in a separate so. box, and your box is locking up. Well, my, yeah. Yeah. So, huh. You know. Was, hmm. uh... Well, they're playing PC. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, got it. Sorry. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Sorry. PC We're the console nerds. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so then it could have crashed for a myriad of reasons. Exactly. Drivers Anything. and a bunch of like. Yeah. Could have been. You could have looked at it the wrong way this morning. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Exactly. Why I can't PC game. Um, so it still looks great. I just oh. didn't get to actually play it very much. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, because we quickly gave up on that <laughs> that attempt. 
to That's play something else. It so. is a bummer. Did you get a chance to play anything else? I played so many little bits and pieces of things this mm. week. I don't feel like I made substantial progress on anything. I played some Assassin's Creed. I went back to Nier and started that again. Uh, I started Night in the Woods again. Mm. I played some Overwatch, but I didn't play anything really like in depth this week. Yeah. Into the Woods is the I mean, next game I'm texting you about. So, please, I, 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 bought it, I bought it for I, Switch. I bought that Switch. on my iPad to play on my trip, and it, it, I couldn't get it to run. It just kept crashing. Oh, I was no, super bummed. Not I was going to be like, hey, guys, maybe. guess what I played? Yeah. <laughs> bad port, maybe? Psych? I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Sucks. And I, I think maybe it's it's for a, like a later version of iPod that, iPad that can run it, but mine shouldn't be able to run it. Should be able fine. to. Should that be optimized sucks, for it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm starting to do that, yeah. too. But I was, I was the same way this week. I didn't really, like... I'd set aside time to play. I I got I got like a little bit of a chest cold on Tuesday, and I was like, I don't want to do anything. So, a little bit of Breath of the Wild here and there. Um, I'm still not, just doing dungeons or I'm, yeah, I'm still just trying shrines. to find shrines yep. without looking up a map. Right. But I'm just mm-hmm. about at a moment where I've combed up and down the map. And I'm like, okay, I'm not finding stuff. Oh, I have to do the shrine. Tr- you have to do missions to unlock shrines. Okay. And I have a bunch of those stacked up that I haven't done yet. But cool. I'm I I got the master sword a little while ago. Okay. Uh, I know that the Hylian shield you have is like in the final area, and it's one of the last items that you can get before facing cannon. So I'm like, um, I'll, I'm I'm almost to the point where I'm going to get to end game. And then maybe pick up the Champion's Ballad and it, the DLC. Is it a spoiler to ask about weapon degradation for the Master Sword? Like, is that I don't I don't want to like so it, I don't want to wreck anything for anybody. But like, does that there, degrade the way certain, every other thing it does? Doesn't all those break. Branches? Okay. Uh, well, I think it can break, but you can you can get it again. Um, but uh, if you don't use it, there's certain types of creatures of darkness that it works the best against. Okay. And then there are others where. Uh, it works just kind of like a standard weapon, and okay. then it loses its charge, and then it has to recharge again. Time based or t- time based? Okay, okay, time based. Okay. Cool. So, so it's just oh, okay, yeah, you can use the master sword again. You can, okay, it's, it's worth it. But um, in terms of the shield, the shield can break. You just need to get it reforged. You just have to have like two diamond and like oh, like got a, lot, it. Okay. a lot of the components. A lot of like hard to find components. Yeah. But either way, once you get you can you can own a house. In, in this game, yeah. and you can get weapon stands, so any of the like important story or strongest stuff that I have, I just go to my house and I hang them up so that when it's time to face Ganon, I just pick up all of my big expensive shit, and then I go out and, yeah. I'm, and I'm gonna wreck the, the hell out of cal- this calamity that is Ganon. But uh, I also been playing a lot of um, a Puzzle Fighter. Uh, which is really? just a mobile puzzle. Yeah, what inspired yeah. you to pick that up? Well, I've I've had it for a bit. Puzzle Fighters have just always been a, a favorite of mine since back in the day. Cool. But th- their mission system is like every, you have three missions, which is just versus computer. They reset every eight hours, or you can use gems to get new things, or sure. you can play online. I play it so infrequently that I just know when the refresh on the missions are, and so I play three rounds. I play maybe six rounds a day, and that's fine with yeah. me. Cool, and and I unlock new characters and whatever. Yeah, but it's it's a fun little time distraction. It's a mobile game. That's what it's for. Uh, but Nate, uh, you you had a little bit of a field trip this weekend. Yes, you did. Yeah, I took a trip to Seattle. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I was there, I went to the Museum of Pop Culture that they have. What do they have there? Uh, it was really cool. They have like a great science fiction exhibit, and there's like a fantasy horror stuff just about like the different writers and stuff and i also found there is a uh, indie game revolution is what they call it okay something sponsored by nintendo and uh basically it was this really cool hall that had about like 10 different stations and it looked like they were providing switches to play a bunch of indie indie games there were some ipads there were some ipads there were some pcs for different games um, but there was a bunch of games I'd never seen before. Some games I had seen, uh, like Papers, Please was there. Um, I love that game. Uh, the Orwell one. Have you seen that one? It's mm-hmm. like, it's like a. Oh, the the surveillance. One, yeah, right? the Orwell I, surveillance. I've about half of that yeah, game. that game yeah. Looked, looked interesting. Cool. Um, a bunch of indie games. Rain. Uh, some more stuff that you would recognize that I'm not remembering. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, but it was really cool. They had some cool videos of developers also talking about the process and stuff, and a lot of interesting information. Apparently, there's a big community of game indie game developers in Seattle. Like, yeah, isn't that part area. of the reason why 
PAX is there, other than the fact that that's where Pain Arcade is? I had no idea. I didn't know that. Yeah, PAX is a huge indie game. To be honest, I I mean, I kind of knew, but I kind of forgot that that's where Microsoft's headquarters was. Right. And so I was not thinking about all the tech stuff. Valve, and then also 343 is up there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so wow. there's a huge, not only like, so there's like a huge AAA scene, but also like a lot of indie yeah. games are out there as well. So yeah, it's, but it was really cool. So I went around and played a few games, and there was one game that I saw that attracted my attention. What is that? Uh, I have no idea how to say it. Tenya Wanya Teens? Right, that thing. Um, so, <laughs> so, it's, so we're looking at a, uh, a joystick with 16 buttons. 16 buttons. So when we first started the game, <laughs> all of the buttons were white. Okay. okay. They were all white. So uh, if you want to play the video, yeah, we'll, we'll um, switch over to the video. I, so I I, was, um, I went to the museum with my mom. So I'm playing this game with my mother. <laughs> First of all, we're just on the 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 starting screen said fart. Right. Yep. So <laughs> so you move the stick around and it moves your your person around, um, and. I, I, you, so all of the buttons do something different. Okay. You just and pee like, on an angel? No, no. no, no so no. there's there's like little toilets. Oh, it's a toilet. Yeah, it's, it's a, a urinal. urinal. And then yes, yeah, so you're supposed to pee in the and urinal. Killed it. And then yeah, it, it makes it go away and you get points. So you're supposed to figure out which activity to do on each thing. You and just so, told like, the girl I love you when she died. So ah, <laughs> this you, is terrible. You missed it. You're you missed it earlier. But it, it starts with just the farting. So you have to chase the skunk down and fart on the skunk. And then after that, <laughs> it's like all right, fart on the skunk, but also pee in the urinal. And so here we get to this part, and now it's like now do be a bear. <laughs> it's like, the fish salmon out. So it was this. But the funny thing was, so we have those big I sixteen buttons. You. Every button yeah. does something different. Every button. It, well, all the buttons were white. So as it added things to do, it would add the oh, color cool. of the button. Yeah, how cool. And then it would show the color. So yeah. you had to figure out where it was. But the the cool thing was, as it went on, it would move the colors around. So, oh, so you'd rad. have to keep looking to find them. Yep. Yeah, it was really interesting, but it was not at all what I expected. I thought it was going to be some like kids you, game. I mean, I guess it is a kids game, but how'd your mom do? Wildly inappropriate. She, she, almost, she almost beat me. She, she was you? ahead like the entire time. Hitting <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the water. Like, but she did. She did lose track of which one she was a few times. Okay. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I mean, that's that's just a mom thing. Right. So it's yeah. a rookie mistake. Okay. She'll, she'll yeah. get there. <laughs> yeah, guarantee. I tried. You see, I tried to do the bish. I, I can't figure out how to drink the water. I'm telling it I love it. Now I'm peeing on the urine. Yeah, it's just a... <laughs> Don't pee in the sink, wild. Nate! <laughs> oh, you're rocking the mic. That's good. Yeah! Nice. This this is amazing. Like, what a game. This and then is, the first you... person to go to sleep is gets extra points there. Oh, uh, dude. Do. And then I won. Wow! Yeah. It was, what the uh, hell was, was that? This, was oh the sleep gosh. that put you over the edge? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like, that was like... That was fine. Wow! Yeah, I was like a thousand... A couple of thousand points. Damn! I, I, think, I think it was like just... Yeah. That is uh, what a fun game to play, like in a party, like to have like a bunch yeah. of people over and then like other people like, be drinking turns, in yeah. the background. It was really, it was really interesting. It was, mm. I had much more fun than I expected to. Yeah, it looks rad. Uh, I expect this to pop up in Chuck E. Cheese's and Discovery Zones uh, around the continental David United Busters. States. David Buster's, I want to do that in Actually, drink. That's a, that's a that, great that, David Buster's. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great, right? If you are in Seattle and you haven't been to the. Uh, Pop Culture Museum, go check it out. Or if cool. you're visiting Seattle. Yeah, or if you're visiting. I yeah. think that's pretty great. Right. I'm glad you got to go. Yeah, yeah that's I really had a cool. great time. Yeah. Any other highlights? Cool Anything else you saw you love? Um, yeah, I mean, they had other cool exhibits there. <laughs> we went on a cool tour of the underground. Apparently, Seattle had like a terrible fire oh, yeah, and yeah, burned yeah. down. And so they had, when they rebuilt everything, they, they told everyone, you have to build your buildings at least three stories high because the first building is going to become the basement. Mm-hmm. And they ended up over the course of 14 years raising the center of the roads up and then, and then building new crosswalks. So there's this whole underside for like 33, wow. the original 33 blocks. That's like now it's all terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And smells and there's rats and stuff. But Jesus, it was a big thing for like, uh, you know, gambling and other illegal things. That's sort of like in LA where the lizard people live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The You're not supposed guy. to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, we, we just got fifty bits for peeing in sinks. Thanks, Great. Hey. thanks, nerds doing stuff. <laughs> Jeez. All right, uh, we did it. Um, you brought up papers, please. I, did. Uh, I, I just wanted to mention really quick. If you know, if you know about Papers Please, or if you don't, yes. there is an official Papers Please short film that was released on Steam and YouTube. Uh, so it's about ten minutes long, not including the the credits, but it's sort of a base idea of what Papers Please is, and and what that is is you're sort of a border patrolman that is controlling who gets to come into your country of Arstotska, uh, and there. 
as you get through the game, there's a lot of there's a lot more political intrigue and um, refugee stuff. Like it, it, it gets really dramatic to the point where you're trying to help these people, but ultimately you need to. It's at odds with your job. Yeah, yeah, and and your family. Like you and need you to provide paid, for right, your family. Totally, it just breaks my heart every time I think about this. So game. it draws the line, uh, the the morality line of well, how far can you go yeah. to help people? How far will you go to help people before you stop helping yourself? Just, sort of a thing. Oh. Um, it's ten minutes. You you can go after the show, not right now, and check it out. Um, but it's it's absolutely free. Uh, whether you want to watch it on Steam or YouTube, that's up to you. But also, uh, if you haven't played the game, pick it up because it's yeah. it's one of those games that's so synonymous with Steam now that it's usually on sale pretty frequently. Um, yes, so put it that. put it on your wish list until it's two dollars, and then pick it up. Um, E3. I'm sorry, E3. What's that? Are we, we already our, talking we, about we it? We got our <laughs> first. We got our first bit of E3 oh, news. Oh. Uh, right, EA let's do this. announced no. on Thursday that it will again host its EA Play event, which yep. will take place in Los Angeles from June 9th to June 11th, 2018. Attendees will get to play the next Battlefield. I know. Lots of sports games and quote get an inside look at the stunning new action Wait. game Anthem. They're making another Battlefield. Yeah, it you, says yeah. the next battle. Is that is that the Garrett's announcement? Every That's, other year. This is a part of the announcement. Every other year, man, I think they're both, they're going to be battlefront, <laughs> battlefield, battlefront, battlefield. But I mean, they haven't even announced. Like, no, they haven't. They haven't announced that they're working on one. So nope. they were just nope. like, nope. yeah, you can play this new game that we're working on. Yeah, it's called Battlefield. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the the Did last they say battle, anthem is playable. It says get quote. Get an inside look. Oh, inside no. look. at the you stunning get, new yeah. action game. Yeah. Got it. So you can, got it. You get a, you get yeah, to right. look right. closely. It's gonna be a theater with a with a trailer. It's gonna be yep. a VR Great. trailer Great. where you're inside and you get to watch per, everything. Even better. Yeah. Talking yeah. to Jordan. Not doing anything. Okay, let's do this. Yes. I will say, uh, Stacy and I got to go to EA Play last year, yep. and it was a lot of fun. I know. It was. Especially because it was free. We got a whole bunch of monster for free. Yeah, you did. We got to play Battlefront Two. Yep. Uh, before before we knew how terrible it was, we got to play about or before how you knew how terrible it was going to be. Well, no, no, how terrible the the you loot boxes. Knew, and all you that. Knew. Yeah. you no, knew. it was fun. The game no, was, was fun. fun. The game's I'm, yeah, fun. I'm sure I it was, was fun. Really bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> you think crack is bad the first time you smoke it? That's why I don't start it. Do you, do you have any more insight on that, or is that all you're willing to say? <laughs> or just share right now. Let's do crack, live. ladies and gentlemen. Let's well, do this. Share. I'm just Hold saying. On, this is going places. Crack, EA games. Ouch. It's in the game. One it's of them will kill you. <laughs> One of them is crack. I mean, EA yeah, makes the Sims, so I am fully on board with this statement. <laughs> I understand it fully. Challenge <laughs> everything, Nate. Challenge everything. Challenge. They everything. know what they're doing. God. They are. They know yeah, what no, they're but doing. But they like it, it was a it was a good event. It was free. Uh, if you wanted to wait the the all of the sports lines, you could have. Why? Right. Um, what I mean is, I, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, yeah, I would love to go to an event like that. Cool. Then you're coming with games. us. Yeah. Great. Drink all, all it. Green all, gr- drink all the monster. Drink all the monster, and for some reason not provide so, food. So then you have food trucks, and don't make any money off of that. What's that? So I just want to ask you guys. Do you think so? That, I love that they got out ahead of this. This is mm-hmm. our first announcement. I want to. I would just want to take a pulse on the room. Do you think Bethesda has an event this year? I don't know what they have locked and loaded. I hope they go big and I hope they blow our minds. But like yeah, to this day, we don't know anything that they've got on this slate. Don't they say they have something they're working on? But yeah, like, but tomorrow, do. is yeah. it enough Ta- for an event? They Todd came out Howard. swinging last. I know year. the last two years, and Todd mm-hmm. Howard has said that like the Bethesda GameWorks has got like what three big IPs that are not uh, Elder Scrolls or Fallout. Mm. Yeah. But are we going to see those this year? And do they drop this year? Like I don't. Is it Doom? I, is it like I just? I'm really interested to see when Bethesda. Calls it. I was curious to see what you guys thought. Um, I I think they will. I think we're mm. gonna get uh, a, so. a Wolfenstein expansion similarly to how we did for Wolfenstein One. Great. And they're gonna announce it, but and and maybe tease it. Give me some more. But of that. it's just it's just gonna be more Wolfenstein Two instead of being DLC. It's just gonna be a smaller title. Great. Uh, mm. Probably not gonna see Dishonored. Probably not gonna see nope. Evil Within. Nope. Um, but they said they have th- those three things are probably gonna be announced slash talked about. But I think right. on top of that they might tease. Some Something new with the Elder Scrolls. Something. I wouldn't That'd be surprised. Be yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Sis, you were there. So what I'm, do you think? Oh, that was still one of the most surreal experiences. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think that they're definitely trying to make this a thing and they're building on it year after year. So I I think 
it was successful enough last year for them to continue on with it. Mm -hmm. And but I, was it like those games did not sell? I'm sorry, like Prey well, was an like abject failure, and like Wolfenstein underperformed. I love those games. But I really do. I want Bethesda to be successful. I like Immersive Sims. I like. I thought Wolfenstein was maybe my game of the last ten years. It was amazing. Yeah, and their whole approach to the paid add-ons and yeah. stuff and mods, I think, has really had an adverse effect with it with the community and especially them. Like that, that was a big part of their presentation too. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, maybe if they can not talk about that part, it'll go over well. But I think, that was a, yeah. I think that was a big thing that <laughs> led to why it didn't go so well. Aside from like what you said about the releases. Too. Yeah, I think they just. They didn't. They didn't listen. Right. I just think. I think at the end of the day, if the scorecard is like, how did they do from like a sales perspective? This year was tough. It would be amazing if Todd Howard had something in a new engine. Right. Mm -hmm. They've been working on something for three years <laughs> and just had a wholly revamped mm -hmm. engine. I'd lose my mind. Well, what would you want to see, Stacey? I mean, I'm, I always want more Elder Scrolls yeah. yep. content. Um, you know, now that you've brought up the Wolfenstein, I definitely am down for more yeah. Wolfenstein. Hell yeah. Uh, Skyrim BJ. on the iPhone. Yes. Sky phone. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> no, wait, I take it back. I don't want anything, Elder Scrolls. <laughs> it's too late. Uh, hold on. I Fuzzy Games in chat says Bethesda are working on the Switch Pokemon game. Could you imagine? No. No, not necessarily specifically that, but uh, a major third party exclusive for the Switch. They've maybe in the groundwork. If anything, maybe not they this been. year, but maybe an announcement hey, we're bringing something to the Switch that is exclusive for the Switch. How about a Doom collection? Uh, pe modders are already doing I that. I know, I just saw that. <laughs> modders are bringing every Doom to the Switch. There you go. Want, I have a toaster that can play Doom. It's pretty great. <laughs> um, but e I, we're already talking about E3. If and Bethesda it's made a work. Pokemon God. game, you would play from the perspective of one of the Pokemon. And like the whole no, That's like a Peter Molyneux. The king of the Pokemon. Like, like, trying to evade no, capture. Yeah, that's, a Peter, that's a Peter Molyneux game, right? Like, imagine if you are the Pokemon. <laughs> you are what escaping if I the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why imagine a race car game Pokemon. where you are the road. <laughs> he just says the most no, abstract the shit. Tire. I kind of love it. I miss you, Peter. He, oh, he's going to make a licensed rubber game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, movie tie-in. I liked Fable. Okay, <laughs> no, Fable's great. I'm not taking shots of Fable. I no, love no, Fable. No. His just promises were unbelievable. Yeah. I talk about Milo all the time. No, that's pretty. <laughs> Milo's dying in cyberspace just... somewhere. We're getting Let me out. We're getting a we're new Fable. Find out in 15 so, years. Yeah. <laughs> there's something about me. Fable. If if Xbox yeah. wants Xbox wants to bring uh, Fable back. Yeah, but they are. It's not it's Lionhead. Out. I just but... don't know if it's a like. It's just a. It's like a 70 30 that. Bad versus good, like it's a seventy percent chance it's just not going to be good. Yeah. It, it'll either won't live up to expectations, or it'll just be a really bad remake. Thirty well, we percent chance it's really cool. Maybe I'm it'll be super amazing. Down. Be optimistic. Well, well, here's the thing. Uh, speak, <laughs> speaking specifically of, I, I can't believe we're spiraling on E3. But um, speaking of Xbox, yes. we got the announcement a while ago for uh, that Fable game, Fable Legends, yep. right? That got canceled. Yep. Uh, yeah. The game that I bought an Xbox One for, Scalebound, got canceled. Yeah. So they're they're having they they've been having problems with uh, third party. Uh, well, no, it wasn't first, Fable. First party Fable was, was first technically party. first party. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, but Platinum. Well, either way, exclusive games. Yeah. They're still having a problem with exclusive games. Fable could be a step in the right direction, but uh, eh. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> I have no idea what Microsoft. Is. We got we have Scorpio now. We are the Xbox One X. Uh, I have no idea what their lead announcement could be for that. We don't have the time for that. Nope. Let's talk about the Dice Awards. Yes. Um, <laughs> sorry for bringing up a topic and then immediately shutting it down. But um, so I, I lumped all of these in by game instead yeah, of cool. by award. Yeah, cool. Yeah, do it. Uh, the big, Is one of the big winners of the like night. The, the studio had dice. Nope. No. No. Uh, developers. Oh, I fuck up this acronym every time. It's uh, largely it's a developer conference, right? Like, so okay. it's all industry focused, and it's devs giving other devs awards okay. for okay. for excellence in the space. Like yeah. It. So it's not just like a popularity contest, right? Like, like Dice Studios, like mm -hmm. the games great. we like, liked last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battlefront okay. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Battlefront Two. <laughs> Battlefront Two. Clean Battlefield One. This is a sweep. Bad company out of nowhere. What? Favorite game that we can't stop playing. Yeah. Um, all right. So one of the big winners, of course, uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild won Game of the Year, Outstanding Achievement in Game Direction, Outstanding Achievement in Game Design, and Adventure Jesus. Game of the Year. Yeah. And I think it deserves every single one of those. Boy, is that game fun. Um, did anybody play Lone Echo? Nope. Because that's the a VR game. VR game. I know. I've been uh, wanting to. It won immersive technical achieve reality technical achievement and immersive reality game of the year. No. Uh, Fire Emblem Heroes won mobile game of the year. I'm wanting to play that. It's. It's. I mean, it's free. 
ish. You know, it's freemium. <laughs> so there's that. Um, Metroid Samus Returns won handheld game of the year. Not too many handheld games just in general this year. Uh, di- the Dice Sprite Award, which is, is like uh, okay. developer costs on, and si- You go ahead. Does Switch count as a handheld? I mean, does it judges? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, y- yes, yes. Yeah. But I don't know that they. I don't know. I don't know how they classified it for this. Yeah, I yep. mean, I feel like Odyssey is a a handheld game. Yeah, I would. I would say Mario Run is more of a mobile game. Is more of a, a handheld game but, than a but, mobile but, game. But I'm not saying mobile. It's yeah, no, the I know. Category is handheld, right? So that means like PSP, <laughs> Nintendo I DS, think exclusively Nintendo exclusively handheld. The fact so that PSP you, would qualify, but PSP is not. Uh, Vita would qualify, yep. but I, I think that's what it is. It's exclusively handheld. It's something that you can only play I'm on a handheld. It. Interesting. But I, but I totally agree that the this, this Switch is... Well, I mean, is, it's all Nintendo's fault for blurring the lines, right? Come Damn on. you, Nintendo. You're making a console or making a handheld. Is it cardboard or is it technology? How I don't know give anymore. Awards? They're just blurring all the lines. I hate the loud do? blurs. <laughs> loud noises. We're gonna have to change all the rules. So the Dice Sprite Award is uh, an award for uh, studio size versus how well it's right. I actually well thought received. that's what it was originally, but it's, um, like, it's like a function of resources. Like it yeah. do the most with the the most with the least. Yes. yes. Right. And the winner of that was Snipper Clips, which Not, came out for the oh, yeah. for the Switch. Have you heard of that? No, but I it's love real. the name. I know. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Care about it Snipper Clips is real fun. Yeah, I've heard it so. Snipper Clips yeah. is fun. It's hair. one of those first ones where. Uh, well, no, your shapes, and you have to solve puzzles. Oh, uh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah it's, really, cl- see it. it's but really clever. It's one of the things that really sold this, the idea of uh, just multiplayer on the go, because you yeah. have the two. It was one of the main Cause things. Because you have the two sticks, you have the two sticks with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but that also won Fam of the Game of the Year, which I was a little surprised at, but mm-hmm. I can understand why. Outstanding Achievement in Online Gameplay and Action Game of the Year, Player Unknowns Battlegrounds! PUBG. No one's surprised. Maybe action game is fine, but... I would say action game is... Achievement in online gameplay should... That's, that's, a, <laughs> yeah. that's a joke. Thinking that's back a, on playing that. Yeah. Between the netcode and the mm. optimization and the lack of server division... Yeah, but jank is a feature, right? You're the one that told me that. Like, <laughs> jank as a yeah, feature. But it's we'll back of the box. It's a feature, but you don't give an award for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the it's nice like a, jank It's like award. an accidental it's yeah. genius. It's a positive yeah. feature. Right. We don't want to encourage. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's going to no. be Battlefield 5. Right, right. Please, please. Beautiful. That's shout out to that our, was, uh, shout out to our that listeners. That was the mask drumming yes. again. Yeah. Uh, but actually, Game of the Year, I think, is, is pretty pretty understandable for this. Oh, you, yeah. It makes you feel like you're in an action movie. Oh, definitely. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like, I'm gonna die! Wait, I'm gonna die! Uh, strategy <laughs> simulation game of the year, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I know. Hey, Nate! <laughs> <laughs> it's a conspiracy. It's a Nintendo conspiracy. Well, I kind of guess that yeah. Nintendo bump. That's about that. Yeah. I guess uh, War of the Chosen doesn't count because it's an expansion. Yeah, probably yeah. not. Though I... I I should have looked up what else was nominated, but that probably would have kept us here a lot more. Uh, Sports game of the year, FIFA 18. Cool. FIFA's solid. It always sells the most, but I don't know. At least it wasn't Forza. No, hold I know, on. I know. Racing okay, I know. game so of the weird. year, Mario Kart uh, 8, 8 Deluxe. I can't handle that. What? I'm not That's the one that blew yeah. me away. Like, I have no problem with Mario 8, like, at all. But, like, first of all, it's a port from a game, like, last year. Like, it, that's... And, uh, but you want to talk about optimization? Um, mm, Deluxe. Stop. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's optimized. It's got new characters. Stop. It's got new music, that, new stuff. Just, it, it's whatever. Patrick. I, they, it's like people, these guys are smarter than me. I'm not Patrick. pretending I'm way on this. You can't. Mario Kart 8 is one of the games that if you if you and a group of friends have switches, it's we have to get Mario Kart 8. Yeah, I get and that. And then we'll just hang out and play I Mario totally Kart 8. Can't do I totally agree. I would love to do that. I don't have yeah. friends, yeah. and I hate everything. So so there's that. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it a little bit, but role-playing game of the year, Nier Automata. Yep. yep. Cool. 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 Do you, oh. as... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, weigh in on that, Stacey. What What do you think of, of the merits of it as a role-playing game, Stacey? As far as what you're... See, I always I do I do actually have a little bit of gripe. I get I think the customization options are extremely expansive and work really well in the role playing setting. As far as like side quests and like open world abilities, the game doesn't exactly lend itself to tons of side quests mm-hmm. and little extras that you can do. It is a very structured game in a lot of ways and you don't have unless you go back afterwards and revisit, you don't have tons of openings to really 
expand your own options. I've spent a lot of time expanding my options, not knowing where I was going. <laughs> That's what I've well, done. Well, on that front. I've run around and around and around. What I heard oh, Stacey there, say is, not enough books, zero out of five. <laughs> no I books. I mean, you're not wrong. Lack of there mountains. There are very few books. You can't climb mountains. <laughs> that it. is also very upsetting. Oh, man. It, oh, Negative one. Um, no, after you play Zelda, everything's fucked. We, like, okay, we need this to... This game, like, you, you, like, I'll jump and run over something. She can clearly jump over it, but, like, you know, because Link can climb anything. He doesn't yeah. do shit. Like, she he's climbing do over it. everything. She he can't nope. do anything. You have well, very strict bounds. No, like, that's the thing no. about visible walls. Mm. Link will climb shit even if he knows he can't make it I all the way to the I top. About Link. I know that we do that, but yeah. you can like climb around the backside of the map where there's nowhere to go and be like, what? And but Link's like, I probably shouldn't do that. He's like, fucking whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna crab walk all the way over there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we need to we need to make like I know we already did kind of our award things yeah. uh, yeah. for the year, but we need to have uh, most climbable game, most climbing yeah. in a game. And most books uh, to read in a game. Most books per square inch. Uh, bo- books Excellent. per game. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> um, and then uh, uh, the biggest sellout, because uh, you call that shit out like nobody true, minutes. True, true, true. Um, we either way, we need to come up with like our personal Some categories. categories. I want most yeah, music. I like <laughs> what yeah. game has the, the most music? Most, most music. music. Non-stop. We, stop. Skipping Dead ahead, you, the game that did have the most music was Cuphead. Yeah. Because there were uh, ve- each level theme had various versions so cool. that focused on diff- that had different solos from different instruments. Just in case, because they knew you were going to be playing the game over and over yeah. again, they wanted a little bit of variation to sort of freshen it up. Uh, Cuphead ended up winning outstanding achievement in music composition, art direction, and animation. Which again, it deserves all of those uh, awards. I, I'm sure I haven't heard the music, but like uh, it, the the game that went near one at uh, the, the game awards, the game awards. Mm-hmm. and I'll be damned if that doesn't have some of the best music I've ever heard in a game. Mm-hmm. It is un. Yeah. Uh, Steve, if you're there and listening, can you just bring up any theme from Cuphead if you're not listening? No, he's like, oh, you, you want to hear some? You want to hear some music? Yeah, 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 yeah. You. We'll play some music. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I'm just gonna just, keep playing. Music okay, for the rest of our I see time. what you're yeah. doing. And then, and then, Steve, when you're done, could you bring? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> making him pay attention at his theme. job. <laughs> um, fighting game of the year, Injustice Two. Right. Fine. Sure. But not great. Not a I wonder. But I wonder. Nothing else good came out last no. year. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. 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 Because Dra- Dragon Ball came Fighters out this year. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, Them's Fighting Herds came out this w- this it, year Infinite. as well. Uh, oh, Inf- no. God, no. Infinite that, should, win, that was so. so it, listen, if you still, want some. It still should have been like Guilty Gear. Or some, not Guilty Gear. Uh, uh, Blaze. Blue. Blue didn't come out with anything this year, did they? Last year? Yeah. Didn't that come out last Las year? Las Blue. No, they're, they're gearing up for it, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the cross yeah. tag battle's coming out this year. Mm-hmm. But last year, they may have had an update, like a pa- like a, a patch yeah. with more characters, but Maybe I don't know if it was a game. new version. Either either way, uh, Injustice 2, fine. Uh, outstanding technical achievement and achievement in story for Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. Uh, now, we've all played Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep. Uh, we all have opinions on Horizon Very Zero Dawn. Divided yes. table. Uh, achie- so the right opinions are on this side, right? Uh, okay, so I would, Well, no, that's the left. This is the right. Got it. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, but then there's also stage, yeah, whatever. Yeah, uh, no, the way, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I that. would call this award achievement in story. But that's just me. Um, congratulations to the team b- behind Horizon Zero Dawn, to Gorilla. It, it it did. It is one of the most beautiful games to come out this past year. Yeah. So mm. all of the the tech behind it, I go just go ahead and play it in the, a, l- a little bit in below. That's the uh, that's what Kojima's is, Decima uh, engine. Goopy Legrand okay. is will be uh, this boss fight. It's one of the first boss fights. Um, that really I teaches love you this so much. Yeah, you can't not love this. I, I get it. I was just the joking music gets you hyped. You're yeah. like, man, especially when you lose. But you're like, oh, I get, I get to be hyped again. <laughs> Uh, but it keeps you going. It keeps you go- it does. Yeah, great. You I need wonder it. how much more of this music I'll be. I wonder what happens next in the music. Cool, yeah. And it, it, though it is weird hearing it without all of the sound effects from the various bosses, like the like the words yeah. and the this and the that. Um, but man, is this, this album is great! So good. Uh, outstanding achievement in sound design. This actually did surprise me. Super Mario Odyssey. I was pretty surprised. So, for sound design? So let me let me ask you this. I was going to ask you specifically yeah. about this because the, the one thing I thought was a cool trick that I just saw because I've actually never played the game. I've just seen video of it running. Where like where you go from like a 3D world into the 2D stuff, mm-hmm. and I remember the score going literally from this like orchestral 3D composition of Mario to that two, like 8-bit 
beat, yeah. but didn't miss a note, right? So it pivoted to a flatter sound, like a, an eight-bit version of that, but also all the sound effects then became flat. And like to me, that was really impressive. And that's the only example I can even think of. Just well, even watching then, some there there yeah. is a little bit of a with the pipe noise. Yeah, that provides a little bit of a buffer, so the transition doesn't have to be as smooth. Oh God, it goes to do. So it's and then you're back in. And then in picks and back up. Yeah. Okay. Still cool. Um, yeah, yeah. It's still cool. And, and a lot of cool designs and original stuff for this. It's it's kind of got the uh, Banjo Kazooie thing of you talk to somebody like, burr, 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 burr. Yeah. like they're not actually speaking. So so sound design, interesting. Man, uh, I, I, the robots were so good in Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of other stuff, but Ooh, they were so dope. But Nate, oh. sound, you know, sound design. I'm very surprised that Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice didn't take that. I, I'm because yeah. that game is all about its yeah, sound design. Totally, it, it, uh, it, it did win. Dies on that. It did win achievement in character Damn uh, for right. Senua, which is great. Um, but I'm, mm, I don't, I'm, I'm surprised that Mario. If well, Mario had to win one. Yeah, give him something. Yeah, give him something. We can't have sacrifice. Nintendo feel bad. Yeah, oh. I know. Yeah, I for winning game of the year, uh, Zelda adventure took game home of the year. Fourteen of these. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Um, but but these these are all the games that uh, all, all the folks in the industry uh, were the best of the year. Yeah. That's a lot. That's cool. It's really cool, and 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 to now be in a place where playing, we're starting to play a lot of these again for the show. Uh, we we can actually talk about them. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of being like, ah, oh, that looks like fun. Anyway, um, all right. The last thing that, that I wanted to talk about, and we can take however much time on this uh, as we can. But uh, <sighs> what you got? So what are we talking about? Uh, this uh, is. This is serious. He's got a serious face on. Because I serious really business. dislike serious this business. this serious person, uh, this thing. Uh, so as a result <laughs> of the, the Sith Lord comes out. Uh, well, no, <laughs> uh, the hate will flow through me. Uh, as a result of a lot of the uh, uh, devastating shootings that happen around this country, and of people say, "Oh, nothing can be done." Uh, another, it seems like clockwork, where the conversation comes back up about violence in video games and right. violence in movies. Yep. Now, I have a quote from the orange one here. Uh, that's I don't refer to that person by name, so guess. Sure. Um, <clears throat> 45. Here we go. Mm, that even... even uh, that, 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 that acknowledges... Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean. uh, here's a quote. We have to look at the internet, because a lot of bad things are happening to young kids and young minds, and their minds are being formed. And we have to do something about maybe what they're seeing and how they're seeing it. That was one sentence, by the way. Uh, and, and this is also one sentence, and also video games. I'm hearing more and more people say the level of violence on video games is really shaping young people's thoughts. And you go one further step, and that's the movies. You see these movies, and they're so violent, a kid is able to see the movie if sex isn't involved, but killing is involved. And maybe we need to put a rating system for that. Genius. What a fucking idiot. All right. This this is the most like revolutionary <laughs> idea I've ever heard. Yeah, so we have the ESRB. Yeah. Uh, uh, and as somebody who used to be in the system Which, when it comes to uh, uh, selling the selling of video games to children, uh, we would get heavy fines if somebody... Uh, uh, and, and actually possible jail time, depending. Um, to, if we sold video games that were uh, rated mature to uh, two kids. They had yeah. to have an ID. Uh, and even if and, and if they didn't have an ID, they had to have an adult. And even that is... That's, that's the stupidest thing. Because parents won't take credit for going in and going, oh, whatever, it'll shut them up. Right. Because there are... I, have, I can't tell you the amount of times where, one, I, <clears throat> we have to tell the parent... We, we show them the box and we said, this is the game you want to get. For example, Grand Theft Auto. This is rated M for seven, ages 17 and up for blood and violence, gore, sexual content, nudity, Drug alcohol. references, yes. And I know every have one of those. Read, I know. We have to oh, read you do. the rated M. No, okay. we have to read it to them and say, this is the game that you're getting for your child. I didn't even know that. Is that okay? And, it, and half the time they're on their mm. phone saying, yeah, whatever, just here's my credit card. They're just like shoving the credit card in your face and just whatever, shut my kid up. But let me tell you, the couple of times, and it's only been a couple, the couple of times where I start reading uh, what it is, and, and I, to be fair, the violent stuff is whatever, but the second I get to 
sexual content or nudity, and the mother has turned over to their little boy and just stares at them like, what are you trying to buy, you little piece of shit? Yeah. So so these, these ratings are... They're there. These were imposed by the government back late eighties, early nineties because of Mortal Kombat. So just just want, I just want to be clear on that though. They weren't, right? So this is the video game industry trying to get out ahead of being regulated by the government. The okay. CR this SRB is a collection they they roll up to EA and Activision and Bethesda. Mm-hmm. They work for the people selling the games, right? So this was the video games industry's attempt to self regulate so the government didn't have to. Okay. Because Thank that you for gets me on that. very ugly down the road. So, like, again, it's a weird, like, conflict of interest. And, like, when, yeah, when like, for example, when the ESRB came out and said, oh, we don't think loot boxes are bad. Because, like, guess what? We work for the guys selling the fucking yeah. loot boxes. Uh, that's one thing. But I, I so anyway, j- j- just, I wanted to be clear on that point. And Thank then also, and, and I'll let you finish your point, but I think there's, mm-hmm. like, two different issues here, right? Like, it, we can get back to the Orange One's take on, on, on gun violence, but, like, um, the... I, I, he's conflating two very different things, and I'll let you finish your point. No, no, and it please. just drives me crazy. <clears throat> no, just, no, no, you, yeah, go just, ahead. just I, I, like the, this is a much bigger. I think it's so obtuse. I think that is such an easy talk track to talk uh-huh. about film, First. and mm-hmm. outside of talking about clearly gun control issues, mm-hmm. and it's not arming teachers, not like add more guns to the situation, and it's not. I think there's like a mental health issue as well, but like mm-hmm. I think we have to solve. I'm so sick of this parallel, and again, I, I don't want to have this ever be a, this political show, but like. I heard over and over from a bunch of gun nuts who kept saying, "Like, look, uh, you don't you don't take cars away from good drivers when a drunk person kills somebody, right?" But a, a car's specific example is to get somebody from point A to point B. Guns' ex- specific purpose is to kill another human being. Mm-hmm. So that is not a one to one parallel, and I, it's just tough when you like you can throw a scapegoat at it and like. I think even mental illness. I think that's a secondary and a tertiary issue that's I think also that's very the important. Issue. It's a one A and one B. Yeah, yeah. Both. I mean, but I'm I think, with you. Yeah, because and even to go back to the metaphor thing, like I hate when people do that because no one's trying to take all of your guns away. Nope. They're no. just trying to take the assault rifles away. Totally. The, the gun. Mm-hmm. So that's like saying, you know, yeah, it's just it's a terrible metaphor because the, the two things don't correlate. No. They're not. It's not not trying not to strip course. away the weapons from every American. They're just trying to take away assault rifles yeah. and they're trying to make them harder for people to get because right now they're not difficult to get. No. They're not difficult enough to get. Yeah, it's much harder to get a driver's license to operate a car than it is. I know, yeah. Think about the steps I mean, involved to get a driver's ridiculous. license, right? right. You've got to be and an you, age. You take a and written you, and a driving And you have test. to have insurance like, and you have to yes. have a license mm-hmm. and you have to keep paying for it a and you have to register percent. it. Yes. Cars are a thousand times more regulated than weapons uh, are. Yes. Uh, a kid can't drink but he can buy a gun. Yeah, like mm-hmm. there's a three year gap between being able to to drink versus being able to buy a gun, yep. and yep. and the the constant uh, throwing it back at video games is uh, there's a lot of of stuff, and and I say this with experience too, where it comes to parenting. Uh, ultimately, it if you if you are okay with your kid uh, playing these various violent video games, that's not on them, that's on you. I try. I I would tell parents all the time. It's like okay. You want to get a shooting game for them? Here's Halo. You shoot aliens. Yep. You and don't shoot purple, people. Purple blood. Yeah. And there's yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. energy beams. Yeah. There's a couple of like sure. yeah. military-ish guns. Until you get to Halo Three and you're assassinating other Spartans, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> snapping necks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. totally. To totally. It. But it's one. Of, don't it's, worry, the parents don't see that part. But it's it's one of those things where uh, it's it's not you don't see a human face. Yeah. All oh the yeah. Time. No, I get what you mean. And so so that that was that was my way of of combating it uh, that way. It's like here, this is there. These aren't sure, humans. Yeah, you yeah. don't see people shooting humans. Don't get Call of Duty. You know now. I mean, kids and people have been reading fantasy novels about sword fights and warfare for you know thousands of years. Mm-hmm. Like it's not a. Oh, I should say hundreds of years, but it's just it's it's not a it, it doesn't train your mind to do something. I no. think the other thing that's really um, kind of hidden in that statement that he made is also like the idea that something can show a bunch of violence but not any like sexuality or nudity. Right. And I think that's not a that's not like a thing to brag about. Like that's a backwards thing. I think 
especially in this country, like we sexualize nudity so much Mm -hmm. where if you go overseas, there's nudity on TV if people are naked. Like, no, there's not porn just on TV. Right. But if someone's changing clothes in like a show, it's like whatever. It's not necessarily eroticized. Exactly. Exactly. And so that's a big thing that we have to deal with in America and also our romanticization of violence. Like if you just look at, especially like in the the past 50, 60 years, kids, the boys play army. They play guns. They play... They play, you know, soldier. Like they mm-hmm. play cowboys and Indians. Like it's it's kind of built into us to have this mm-hmm. fight, engage, fight or flight thing, and feeding into that stuff. And to being able to do it in a video game, I, I think it's the complete obvious uh, opposite. I think it being able have some, having something to express those emotions, mm-hmm. and also like a lot of these troubled kids that we see getting into these situations and shooting up these schools, don't have friends, don't have a support system. So yeah. when you get into these games that have these communities with other people who may not not be socially you know in real life they may not be socially outgoing but on games they're able to make friends yeah like it, this is mm-hmm. it's so far from part of the problem it's part of the solution mm-hmm. but it's still that that uh that unknown of well i don't know who is on the other end and it's it's one of those things of that small percentage of stuff of, of interactions that happen that do lead to Kidnapping or this and that, right? But yeah, the, and but the it's swatting that stuff, and, the, and yeah. this, dear God, yeah. the swatting. I mean, that's but it's, the it's, other, that's, it's that small percentage of stuff yeah. that speaks to the rest of it. If only a small percentage of a particular problem was enough to dictate the rest of how something worked. If only. A novel idea. Oh! Which is tough too. Like I think it's interesting. Like um, I think that we need to uh, and whatever. I, not, I definitely don't have an answer to this. I just know that these. It really bums me out. Literally, every time we hear one of these shootings, it's just, it's unbelievable. And like, I think we have to take a really close look at like what this environment is in high school these days, and like how I feel like most of these. I was talking to a buddy of mine, whose kid was like, literally just relates to school as a prison, right? Like, and there is a a a toxic environment there. The minute that you're liberated from that, you want to go out and like the fact that we're driving kids back to these schools and just opening fire and enabling well, also, them by these shitty gun laws. It's also the, the like the social anxiety that comes with social media and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like we are growing up in it. So it's like it, some of us, like it means a lot. Some people could care less. Yep. But when you're a kid and this is all that you've known totally. is the popular, like imagine like before we had popular kids at school, but they were just kind of popular. And you've asked who's popular, you might right, get different right. answers. Yep. Now it's right. like they have the most followers. 100%. They get the most shares. Yeah, they have a viral video. Yeah, 100%. No one cares about me. Like yep. you, f- so that's for me. This is where I really think at the core of this issue is mental health. Yeah. In this country, we don't talk about therapy enough. We don't talk no. about our feelings, mm-hmm. especially for guys. Yeah. Like God forbid you cry. God forbid mm-hmm. you feel sad about something. Mm-hmm. And so we get these youth that are bottled up and have all these emotions and they don't know what to do. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, because of our terrible gun control laws, it's easy for them to lash out in anger totally. and hurt. Mm-hmm. And, all these and it's people. almost romanticized that you go out with a bang. I'm gonna yeah. fuck everybody. And that's else the other thing yeah, too yeah, is totally. the new. That's because that's why I like this recent cycle because there's it's been less about the shooter yep. and more things of that kids. nature, more about the kids yeah. and I what's know. been happening. So, so hopefully proud. this does something. Shift. Yeah. But mm-hmm. so many years of that, yeah. it's like, well, I can't. My life is already shit, so, so I might as well with exactly. Yeah, I, totally I might agree. as well go out in a yeah, bang, man, and it's I, just it's just awful. I agree. I'm so impressed by these kids this round. Like mm-hmm. I, they have been so outspoken. And like, Emma really, Gonzalez, 2020, un- unbelievable. Yeah. Yes. Like why why do we have yep. to wait till they're 40? No, she's, she's ready so now. So great. I know. God, the, did anybody see Marco Rubio's updated Wikipedia Hell. page? No. Oh. Uh, so oh, under his information, it said uh, uh, died on this date, cause of death, CNN town hall. <laughs> He got, well, right. that's oh, true. Oh my yeah. God, what a fucking idiot! Oh, oh man. Yeah. If we get rid that of that type of assault rifle, watch. then we'll have to get rid of all the assault rifles. And everybody yeah. gave him standing ovation. And, and he's he like, went, "Fair point." And then you look and look at his face and went, "Oh shit." <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I fucked up. Um, but yeah, I just want us just take away all the guns. Give everybody a sword. You can't kill. <laughs> it's like one person at a time. Yeah. At, uh, Let's see a really go, sharp Go sword. check out Chris Rock's new special, Please. Tambourine, directed by Bo Burnham. It's oh, actually, it's, really? it's, it's oh, very huge funny. Oh, God. It's yeah, very okay. funny. Huge. Um, it but he has interesting a, how Chris Rock, who's a comedy legend, we're like, yeah, okay, he's got a new special. I know. Directed yeah. by yeah. Bo Burnham. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But huge he grew up with But he's got a he's got a great he's got a great joke about he's like you know you never hear of a mass murderer. This, you know, with a knife. Oh, the guy with a knife stabbed 33 people. You're never going to hear that because what do they do? Like, oh, oh, he got another one. Oh, he got another one. Oh, my God, he killed another one. Oh, my God, he killed it. Oh, 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 he got me. Oh, my God. Like, 
that doesn't know, happen. Like, it doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah. It it's doesn't like, happen. Uh, they would have found a way to do that. They probably wouldn't have. Especially uh, a kid that age. The easier it is to do something, the more likely it yeah. is to do. And the good guy, good guy with a gun thing. Ugh. Oh my god! I hate that. Stop. And teachers with guns. Hey, Stacy, you you work with children yeah. at a school. Let me. I mean, let let's me, let let's me make. Just, let's yeah. put the guns closer what, what to if, the kids. What, the yeah. Gover- yeah, yeah. what if the government came up to you and said, "Hey, you're in charge of children. We're gonna get you licensed for a gun." I'm just gonna keep that in my closet next to the baking soda and uh, beakers. You know. Just like straight stressed out, idea. underappreciated, undercompensated people. Like, yeah, sure, let's give them guns. Yeah. Yeah. Man, uh, right. I, I like today's show. On that happy note. Yeah, I did. No, but I did. I did. I did like today's show because we got a, It's it's an important issue, and it's issues like that that I think uh, it, we, we need to talk about yep. a little bit more and keep out there. The the kids uh, from that school are kicking ass, and there there's going to be a march in uh, a march in March. Yes, and uh, man. All of the, the colleges that are like, no, you, if uh, we don't care if you get suspended. It's not going to look badly on your permanent record. Quote, permanent record. Congratulations. You, we live in a world where we don't have permanent records don't matter anymore. Yeah. Well, hopefully they don't go to college and they do something else. <laughs> they do something better than Smart college. with their life. Yeah, um, but, yeah. Uh, this is fair. <laughs> yo. Uh, this has been fun. Sorry to be cynical. No, that's fine. It's, so, <laughs> no, just sorry. be yourself. Yeah. Just be, just yourself. be you, Raphael. Uh, so, before we go... Raphael for life. Um, so before we go, uh, starting with Patrick, uh, what are you going to be playing this week, and where can the folks find you? I'm going to try and finish near. I don't know. My chip- <laughs> my, maybe. Uh, I don't know. If, if, if Stacy cheers me on, I'll definitely be chipping away at uh, Shadow of the Classes. Uh, find me on Twitter. I'm Peter the uh, If you need to pick me up, uh, you just want to feel better about life. Listen, if you're at home and you're watching the show for whatever reason, and life's been tough, and you're in school, talk to people. There are people out there who want to listen to you. Their life gets infinitely better after you get out of school. So anyway, Peter the D is on Twitter. Please hit me up. I'll be happy to. Anybody needs to pick me up. I'm here. Stacy. Stacy Shuttles. You can find me all over the web at Stacy Shuttles. I have no idea what I'm going to be playing this oh. week. To be quite honest, I don't know. I just I got lots of things to play and hey, I don't do. know where to start. I don't know. Tweet at me. Tweet at Stacy Shuttles and tell me what to play. Hey Nate. Hey, hey. guys. Uh, I'm going to be playing League this week. I'm at, at my series into gold, so that should be fun. Uh, oh, hit nice. me on Twitter if you want. We can maybe play some normals. It'll probably be awful. Uh, and I'm going to be playing PUBG. Yeah, that's a PUBG. Hit me up. We can play I some PUBG. Play PUBG. I'm down for that too. And Tabletop Simulator. Yes, we're we, gonna, we picked up Tabletop Simulator. We're gonna, we're gonna Patrick, it's something Sick. that can run on almost any PC right. or computer. Yeah, I highly laptop. recommend you pick Mac, it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that should, it'll probably still I yeah. from the forties. Yeah. It's the Eisenhower administration. Yeah. I bought it then. It's right. fine. No, I've got as long as you as long care. as you get that the bulb where you can just crank it up. Uh, yeah, just I'll just yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so good but at yeah, cranking it. Uh, at dog like Nate, hit me up on Twitter. We'll play some games. Uh, and I'm Mark Bidonica. You can find me on Twitter at Mark Bidonica. I'm hoping to pick up Dragon Ball Fighters this week. Cool. Uh, as well as them fighting herds. Uh, I'm, I'm in a bit of a fighting game uh, mode. Nice. So, I wish uh, that was cross platform. Same here, yeah. But it, it's one of those things where I found it pretty cheap, pre-owned. So that's uh, instead of paying sixty bucks, I'm paying forty. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you can fo- follow all of us here at Inventory Full PT on Twitter. Make sure you uh, follow us and subscribe to us uh, for more of that good stuff. We're going to be streaming some stuff throughout the week. Uh, but thank you to the fine folks at Popcorn Talk for uh, giving us this platform. Uh, thank you to everybody out there watching or listening. We'll see you next time. From producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network, we would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit PopcornTalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Popcorn Talk Network or its owners or principals.